Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Sunday. It is 7.45 in the morning and I just made some coffee and thinking about the day, going to work out this morning and then we have lots to do actually because I forgot to open the advent calendars yesterday. So we have days 9 and 10 to open and then I also completely forgot about the My Infinite Agenda giveaway. So lots of good things happening on Vlogmas today. Also, need to run to Michael's. But the reason I'm thinking of going to Michael's is because I'm thinking of doing garland like from the floor up to this banister and then the same there. But I'm not sold on it yet. I'm just going to go to Michael's and see what I can find and then make my decision. But right now I'm going to drink my coffee, snuggle with Bubba's after he eats his breakfast, and then go work out. Let's go ahead and open our advent calendars this morning because we have two days to open. So we have to open day nine first. So this one is a calming shower oil, and it's White Lotus number 10. And because it's Sunday, I'm hoping it's another candle. Light the second advent calendar on the second Sunday as a symbol of joy. So these are the little tea lights you get. They're so cute and they smell amazing. So we need nine forever nuts. <laughs> and we need 10 walnut orange scone. Oh my goodness. Those both sound amazing. Nine. This one's bergamot. So right here is 10. And this one is Cedrat Inivrant. I don't know. These names are so challenging. Nine. This is going to be a candle day with Diptyque. Oh, oh, no it's not. An exfoliant body polish. I got this last year and I loved it and ended up buying the larger pot of it. Number 10 up here at the tippy top. We have, and we have cypress. This is another like really woodsy, earthy scent. A couple of you asked me about my tea diffuser. It is this silicone snowflake and it is from David's Tea. You just pull this off, you put your tea in there, then this fits back inside and locks into place. And then you put that part into your mug. What I love then is you, you have this little pod that you can then put it in so it doesn't run anywhere or leak anywhere. What else I love about it is it's tall enough in your mug that you can use this to stir it around. Um, yeah, I just really love these. They have a bunch of different ones, um, but their seasonal ones are really cute. So yes, this is from David's Tea, one of my new favorite places. Just getting ready to pick the winner of the My Infinite Agenda. 
Oh my gosh. And the winner is, hey, it's Deb. And what she wrote in her comment, and she has commented on so many videos. She wrote, 2017 has not been my favorite year. That being said, I'm looking for a way to focus on the future and good things coming my way. This planner looks like the perfect way to start. Deb, you won. And Deb has been a follower for probably, oh, Deb, probably when we had 2,000 subscribers. So Deb, you are the winner. Congratulations. Deb, uh, just go ahead and direct message me on Instagram or you can do direct messaging through YouTube and I will get this in the mail to you. I'm so excited and I know that everyone else is genuinely excited for you as well and I'm excited for you to see the planner. I am gonna leave my link down in the description box because Raquel at My Infinite Agenda has given me a discount code for all of you for 10% off. It is a great planner. Deb, congratulations, but you could still get a really great deal on a My Infinite Agenda. I am home and we are going to do some decorating of the staircase with the garland. I went ahead and bought live garland. I got 30 feet of white pine. Then they had ribbon there and they had this beautiful white birchwood ribbon. And I asked her if she'd make me some bows, so she made me it. it. They're so high quality. I paid about $16 a bow, I got three of them. And then I also bought some loose pine cones to add to the garland. I have my florist wires and my pruners and everything I need here for wire snipping. And all that we need to make this extra festive is a little Spotify. Go to my music. And here is the Christopher Christmas playlist. And let's go. Perfect. I have like some bare spots here, but that is A-OK. -okay. I bought lots of extra so that I can snip off and add. So that's what I'm going to do right now to fill in that spot. Okay, so we have had a great pine massacre, but I have all of it filled and I took little snippets and made sure that there were no bald spots in the pine. And then I added one of the ribbons right there. So it smells so good, but that's what it looks like so far. I am a sweaty mess. I wrestled that pine garland for a good, I don't even know what time it is now. Almost one o'clock, so I've been wrestling with it since about 11.45. This is what it looks like right now. So I'll show you. These are the beautiful birchwood bows that I put on. And then I've already walked you through how I filled the bare spots. And then I went in and just added some pine cones. And I love the way natural garland hangs. And I made sure to just take it the whole way to the floor in sections because I just think it looks so beautiful. And then this is the second banister going up the stairs. So every morning we'll be greeted with this beautiful pine garland going down the steps. And I just think it looks so beautiful. And then from the living room, it looks like that. What do you think, babe? I love it, it's great. It smells good too. It does smell really good. It's, it's not like on the banister. Yeah. So you can actually come down the stairs. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. We are starting to get some snow and it's like the big fluffy flakes. We're supposed to get snow like leading up into Christmas too, which makes me so happy because I want it to be white and beautiful. I am going to start prepping dinner. Um, it's only like 3.30, but I like to just get everything prepped so it's ready to go. What we are having tonight are Thai Buddha bowls. What a Buddha bowl is, um, and there are so many variations, it's a grain, which I'm using rice today, um, greens, vegetables, and then some sort of sauce. It's very commonly like a vegetarian or vegan meal. I am adding chicken to ours, and then I'm going to show you this Thai peanut sauce that I use for so many um, recipes. So with that, I'm gonna get the vegetables prepped. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse 
open sleigh Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh Over the fields we go, laughing all the way Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright What fun it is to laugh and sing a sleighing song tonight Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh I have some shredded cabbage, some julienned carrots, some mini bell peppers sliced, and then some lime. This is for garnish on the side. This is for the sauce we're going to make. Then the rice. This is my favorite rice. You can I've only ever found it at Walmart, but it is my favorite microwavable quick rice, and it's Tilda. I love it. All right, now we're gonna make this sauce. I always make mine in a Pyrex container, just because if you make too much, you can just seal it. Plus, you can shake it up if you make it ahead of time, if it's already sealed. So I'm just gonna put some of that organic peanut butter in here. I'm gonna start with, I don't measure, so bear with me. That would be about a little, maybe four tablespoons. Now I'm going to add some soy sauce. And this I just do to taste, so I just splash some in there. And now I'm going to add a squirt of honey. Actually, that's more than a squirt. It's probably like two tablespoons. And I'm just gonna mix this together. And then I always thin it out with like just a little bit of water, because I want it to get like a salad dressing consistency. I'm just gonna add just a little splash of water. And now I'm gonna add my red pepper flakes. Once again, this is something you do to taste, or if you don't like spicy, you can totally skip this part. I can get like a good drizzle with that. So, that's perfect. I'm just gonna seal that up. So I have my dressing, my vegetables, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the chicken in the oven. I am going to go ahead and get the house ready for the evening now that I have dinner pretty well prepped. So I'm gonna light some candles and make some tea. I just added a whole lime just now. So I'm going to use these two big white bowls and I'm gonna split one package of rice between the two of them. Now I'm going to add cabbage to each of them. And I'm gonna kind of keep it on one side. Then I'm going to do a 
set of carrots down the center. Now I'm gonna add just some peppers on the other side. And then I'm going to add the sliced chicken right down the middle. And now I'm just gonna drizzle some of the dressing over it. Add two wedges of lime. And lastly, I'm going to add some black sesame seeds to the top. And dinner is served. This is really a fast and easy, healthy dinner that then you can take all the extras and make little bowls for lunch. That's what I love about it the most. Steven and I finished up dinner. It was delicious. And I'm going to wrap up this vlog so I can get it posted and then spend the rest of the night relaxing with Steven where we're going to watch The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. We're going to finish out the season. And then I'm going to take a bath with all those new things I got at Pottery Barn yesterday. So... In the meantime, I'll leave this vlog like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which is tomorrow. Bye-bye.